everyone, it's Naomi Kanaika from Encouragement from the Word of God. God is so faithful. Today is a beautiful Monday morning and we are here to celebrate and praise God and worship God and listen to His Word. Today uh, the Word of God is taken from Psalm chapter 34 verse 8. This is a beautiful chapter. If you have time, please read Psalm chapter 34. It talks about God's goodness and mercy and David is writing this beautiful psalm to worship God and he says in Psalm chapter 34 verse 8 oh taste and see that the Lord is good blessed is the man who takes refuge in him David tasted Jesus David tasted God and knew how good he was Yesterday we went to a bridal shower and they had lots of servers uh, serving short eats. Uh, so there were like many kind of kinds of cheese, many kinds of crackers and cheese and um, short eats of many kinds, different bacon rolls and different short eats and cupcakes and strawberry dipped, um, uh, chocolate dipped strawberries and all kinds of stuff. And my daughter also went, went with uh, me and um, we enjoyed that uh, yesterday. And we all tasted uh, different platters and it was all good. So we tried different and variety of different food. And uh, we found it, it was very tasty. And uh, I want to encourage you that when you taste the Lord, He comes and gives you a free platter of Himself to you. Jesus himself came down from heaven. He was God's son and he stepped down and came down and offered himself for you and me. We only have to taste and see that he is good. He is a really good, good father. He himself offered himself on the cross and died for you and me for our sins, for our temptations, for our sicknesses, for our salvation. He died on the cross. He offered himself and I have tasted him and I know how good he is from my childhood up to now he has been a faithful father I have gone to him many times and tasted him and seen that he was good to me he was amazing to me he's a loving father a faithful friend a loving God he has been there for me so I want to encourage you just like David experienced God's goodness in his life and he told everyone else taste and see that the Lord is good I don't know about you at the party when people were offering um, serving food to us and you taste something and if someone else didn't take it if it was really good you would tell them oh that was really good you you better try it was really good so just like that when we have tasted God and when we have tasted him and know well, sure well that he is such a good father we need to tell everyone about him we need to tell everyone that we meet about Jesus and say that he tastes good he is good experience him he is a wonderful father so that is what I am doing with you every day I'm telling the whole world whoever will come in contact with me that he is a good good God and taste him and see that he is good just like David said taste him and see that he is good so how can we taste God in four ways I'm going to tell how can we taste God when we taste God um, goodness uh, God transforms us let's say when you eat something uh, when you eat something nourishing when you taste it and you eat something nourishing it and it uh, tra it transforms you it um, helps you grow and become strong and healthy so if you're eating something good let's say if you're not eating something good then it will it will affect your your body just like that when you taste God when you see about his goodness and when you have a taste when you taste him you are transformed you will never be the same you will never be the same before you knew him but after you know him you will be changed if you had anger you will be not angry less you'll be angry less if you had impatience you'll be patient more 
if you didn't have love for people that you didn't like God will give you love in your heart if you didn't uh, cry for people who are around you you if you felt selfish God will make you unselfish and you will mourn and cry for people around you for them to know Christ so God's goodness when you taste him he transforms you I have been transformed I know from my sinful nature from my life that whatever I was a few years ago God has transformed me transform me we are being renewed daily we are being renewed from daily so in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 it says that where we are changed from glory to glory we are changing just like God we are becoming more and more like God so also when you are tasting God uh, when you are tasting his goodness we are going to be more dependent on him we are going he's going to renew us and we are, after we have tasted him we are going to be more dependent on him let's say if you are um, if you have experienced uh, God God helping you when you cry and pray to him if you have experienced him answering your prayers you will be depending on him more and more you will be committing every day to him you will be knowing that whenever you cry and pray to him he will answer you so your dependence on him grow more and more let's say you have a friend and whenever you need help when you call that friend that friend comes and helps you so you are dependent on that person and whenever you are in a uh, very stuck situation you will call that person because you depend you know for sure that friend will help you just like that whenever we are tasting God and we saw that he has been faithful to us in the past we will depend on him so we keep on calling him at the time of trouble and he has promised in his word that he will listen to our prayers and answer us and come to our help in our time of need God is faithful so he will show over and over that he would provide everything we need and we can depend on him and then when you have tasted God we would move us to worship him I don't know about um, um, if you are going to taste somebody's food and you have tasted it and you feel it's really good you praise that person you say wow your cake was so good or your cooking was so good it was so delicious I enjoyed it and it was so good you comment on it and you praise that person just like that when God when you have tasted God and when you have seen such an awesome amazing beauty in him when you have tasted him you start to worship God you start to worship God like no other you will worship him in your storm you will worship him in your joy you, you will worship him in your sadness whatever life throws at you you would worship him because you have tasted and seen that he is good he is with you when you are going through fire he's with you when you're going through waters if you, he is with you every moment of your life there is no the single day passed by that he is not with you so you will worship him I know many times when my son was going through heart heart procedure at sick kids when he was very tiny like maybe three three weeks old I remembered I was in that house in the basement and I was um, in our old house before and I went to to the basement because we had that computer in the basement those days and I I just put a, a song worship song and I used and I cried and I cried and I cried and worshiped him I cried and I worshiped him because I knew that with my strength I couldn't do anything it was only God and I have tasted him and seen that he is good and I knew that he will help us in that situation and I want to thank God this after this um, now he's 14 years old and he's still strong and living for God's glory God has been good he's been faithful so you can cry in your difficult situation and worship him still so you don't have to only worship him when you are happy and excited but you can worship him when you are crying and sad and you can cry to him and worship him and cry and depend on him speak to him his words 
and he will remember his promises to you so you can i know that we have tasted him and we have seen his goodness i have tasted and i have seen his goodness just like david is saying taste and see all oh, taste and see that the lord is good blessed is the man who takes refuge in him so i want to encourage you take refuge in jesus take refuge in god run to him he is your strong tower when you are in distress run to him and take refuge in him and he will answer you and he will show himself strong in your life i hope you were blessed with this word today let's pray to god together father we come to you father you are our abba father our loving father my god my savior my jesus lord we thank you that we have tasted and seen that you are good lord you've been faithful lord you've been with us you've been our god our refuge our strength lord many times over the years you have shown yourself faithful to us lord we have tasted you we have tested you and we have known that you are good to us lord i pray for anyone who has never tasted you who have never experienced you and have a relationship with you Lord, I pray that you will touch their hearts, soften their hearts. Holy Spirit, go into their hearts and show Jesus through, through their hearts, Lord. Lord, I pray that you reveal yourself to them and they would see and know that you are good and you are faithful. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you were blessed today. Just want to sing one worship song. The, I think I would really enjoy going to heaven and living in heaven because uh, I love to sit at his feet and listen to his words. I love to worship him. I love to honor him and, and bow down to him. So this song is from Catherine Mullins and it's, it's called Sit at Your Feet and it's a beautiful worship song where um, we are going to sit at his feet and listen to him and tell him that we love him, tell him that we have tasted and seen that he is good. So please sing with me. I long to sit at your feet, stay here a while, lost in the moment with you. Breathe in your fragrance, taste of your goodness, know that I'll not be denied. I want to sit at your feet, stay here a while, lost in the moment with you. Breathe in your fragrance, taste of your goodness, know that I'll not be denied. All that is in me longs for your glory, all that is in me cry. All that is in me longs for your glory, all that is in me cry. How I love you, how I want you, how my soul cries for you. How I love you, how I want you, how my soul cries for you. Here I am your beloved, who values the price of your presence. Lost in the beauty of being, in the courts of the king. I long to sit at your feet, stay here a while, lost in the moment with you. Breathe in your fragrance, taste of your goodness, know that I'll not be denied. I long to sit at your feet, stay here a while, lost in the moment with you. Breathe in your fragrance, taste of your goodness, know that I'll not be denied. All that is in me longs for your glory, all that is in me cry. All that is in me longs for your glory, all that is in me cry. How I love you, how I want you, how my soul cries for you. How I love you, how I want you, 
how my soul cries for you. God is so faithful. He's so good. I have tasted him and I know that he is such a good, good father. So I hope that you will experience him and you will taste him and see that he's a faithful, faithful father. He's a good, good father. Just want to show you our blooms in the garden. It's so beautiful. We have many blooms happening and um, really enjoying God's beauty and nature. And uh, these are some purple blooms, if you can see them. They're so pretty and they're so bright and so beautiful. And then I'm gonna just show the the Rose of Sharon's are out of all different colors. And this is another purple color. And that's another pink color. Can see the pink color. They're so pretty and beautiful up close. And then we have the white ones. These are the white ones. They're so pretty. And then there's the small purple ones. And these are the pure white ones. They're so beautiful. God is so faithful. Every time I see a flower grow, I know that He is working in our lives. And He makes our life so beautiful. He is so faithful. So have a wonderful day. Have a good week. May you know that He is with you. So please taste Him and see that He is faithful and He is good. I've tasted Him and I know that He is good. That's why, like a beggar telling everyone, go and see, they are giving free bread. Like that, I'm telling you, experience him. He's wonderful. He's the best thing that happened to me. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.